people when they talk say wahala they they learn work on top waiting they happen inside the palace <laughs> you're not gonna believe them oh. seriously you're not gonna believe them but the thing is right now no the outbreak of what is happening in the palace has become so serious down to a point that even the only himself does not even know what to say as it stands right now so the cocoa on ground is the fact that Olivia Elizabeth, who have come out to say that she's pregnant for the only and she's not getting the recognition she wants or she's not getting that which she expects the only to give her has has opted to marry another man how bad can it get <laughs> my people how bad can it get to from the beginning of this matter we all knew that elizabeth is someone who has been faithful in some way because even when it came to the point of ivf she said no she doesn't want to do any uh any uh, insimulation except it is by the old like she wants every single thing to happen naturally she's married to, to to a man and she would get to get pregnant in due course so she was one among the persons who were not in a hurry to to get pregnant she was one among the persons who were not badly in a hurry to you know have children elizabeth because she wanted every single thing to happen natural and then now elizabeth came out to tell the only her beloved husband that i am pregnant and the only doubted her due to so much that has happened in the palace over time because every single thing happening in the palace has just been out of track every single thing has just been just too bad and um, from olivia de Ronca releasing her sex tape that sex tape we know all know that it has really really dealt with her because she she actually went off social media on all platforms she was not even responding to messages she was not talking to anybody because that was really a big hit on her it is not at the end it is not everybody that has the capacity to bear all this cyber bullying it is not everybody there are some people that and they are they are capable of of enduring cyber bullying yes but a lot of people they are not capable of it and these things we have to weigh the options before we bring it at them and right now we don't even know if elizabeth is depressed we don't know what's happening in her life as we speak but as it is right now no my people elizabeth is someone who we have known for quite some time that she's very good at minding her business so for elizabeth to propose at this point that she would rather go marry another man than to remain being humiliated in the honest palace then this is critical yes this is very very critical because we all know elizabeth even if it is not so well but we know elizabeth to a considerable point that this is one among the persons who, who no, no matter what happens in the palace elizabeth remains on one note and that note is simple for the writing remember all those times elizabeth was you know fighting for living naomi she was doing every single thing within her power to make sure that yeah living naomi returns back into the palace every single thing goes well and all of those things we know so many persons hated elizabeth for that singular reason so many persons despised her so many persons did not like her completely because they felt she was she was in the gap between them weighing Olui Naomi down and succeeding and you know succeeding on not bringing her ever coming back into the palace again that was it and then could it be that all all of this fighting came as a result of that because we saw how deliberate Elizabeth is and was on making sure that when it comes to Olui Naomi every single thing plays out well yes we have seen that and we can attest to that singular fact those times she even went to an extent to take on into a career to go see Olivia Naomi bond with his son and all of those things you get. So all right now we are beginning to understand that Olivia de Ronke, remember when she ha when she was having an altercation with Olivia Elizabeth, um Miriam came to the defense of Elizabeth, and that was a point where Miriam spilled out some some secrets that she was not meant to spill because all this why everybody have known that yes olivia de Ronke is older than the only we all know that but nobody knew that it is that kind of four years five years six years stuff because what she made us understand was that she was two years older than the only so everybody has banked with two years and then as time progressed 
And that on that fateful day when it was all spilled that her herself was completely lost and she was in shock that ah so this woman can actually sell me out like this so could this be their own pattern of payback but if this is a payback pattern then why not pay back on why not pay back on 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 miriam and come at at elizabeth because elizabeth has literally done nothing well she has been defending naomi and according to them naomi is their sole enemy yes naomi is their sole enemy so no matter what happens no matter who supports her they would definitely come at you so my people right now know that is it too it seems like elizabeth is literally tired of waiting for the good days and she has decided to move on and this moving on of hers we shall just hope it's good yes we hope it ends well because at the end of this whole matter now you will come to that point of realization that yes the only actually wants them out of the palace no capping the only wants them out of the palace but at the end of the day the only might come to say that you took my children to go give another man but as it stands right now the one is not even accepting those children that's even the big problem on ground right now he's not accepting those children as we speak so as a matter is oh my people as a matter is all of us we go just wait see we go wait see how this whole matter will play out because right now even where to to lay the eggs we don't know is elizabeth right because down to a point that miriam even had to tell the only that the only should not judge elizabeth based on things that have happened in the palace because if he go judging her by that then definitely he would you know he would he would cripple her yes but they know that olera they don't get first lied about her pregnancy the next thing they even brought his side chick to come and lie the next thing toby but both wahala and you know all of these things but if he judge her by that then he will completely cripple the woman because the woman might be genuinely pregnant for him but you know a lot of things happens and then trust gets lost in the process Yes, trust gets lost in the process. And right now, that is a fact on ground. That is a fact on ground. Trust has been lost. Trust has been critically lost in this in this whole thing. And the only to believe that Elizabeth is truly pregnant for him has become an issue. Yes, it has become an issue. And right now, Elizabeth has altered to marry another man. Well, we don't know. Elizabeth, whatsoever she feels she wants to do that will suit her, let her go ahead and do it. Because this life, hmm, you don't get anybody who did there for you and you are just there for yourself. Because see as, see as people will be, they feel like Lord in the palace. Everything just scatter everywhere. Just they, Everybody just they find refuge and shelter somewhere. My people know this matter. They don't get anything we won't talk as a day like this. Because at the end, Elizabeth will do what's in her mind and the only will still do what's in his mind too because now that the only have decided that everybody leaves the palace i'm not sure he might give elizabeth an exception we are not sure so let's see as this whole matter goes let's see as this whole matter progress let's see as the whole matter pans out